Hello and welcome back to your Fantasy Football Weekly Update. This is you, the manager. Me and Dave are here every week to keep you updated with who you should be picking and who you should be getting rid of. The star players and the ones that are really holding you back. This week, we've got a little new feature. The winner from a couple of years ago, Zoran Furlan, has started his own radio show called Zoran Fantasy FM. A little bit of that later. But first up, the top scoring player from last week was Arsenal centre-back Thomas Vermeulen. Thomas scored two goals, the first two goals for Arsenal as well. That second one was an absolute beauty, by the way. And he was, by far and away, the best player to have in fantasy football this week. Dave, can you let everybody know who else was in the team of the week? Hi everyone, well uh, Vermeulen was definitely the star of the show um, this week but there were definitely some other um, big scorers in the team of the week, uh, most notably uh, Darren Fletcher, Craig Bellamy, both, uh, both players scored two goals each and, uh, and um, made double figures with scoring and uh, they'll definitely be, uh, be ones to watch for the next few weeks. Just to keep you updated on a little bit of trivia I gave you last week, Yossi Ben Ayun was in 171 of your teams. This last week, 559 of you transferred him in. A bit unlucky because he didn't score. Now Dave is going to update you with who was the most transferred in player. Dave? Sure thing, Dan. The uh, most selected player this, uh, this week was uh, Darren Bent, and uh, quite rightly so. Uh, 1,576 people picked him, and uh, he scored again, and he's on fire at the moment, and £4 million is a bit of a bargain. Got a new bit of trivia for you this week. Ryan Giggs has scored 410 points in Uni Manager since 2005-2006. That's an average of 102.5 points per season. Dave? Do you think he'd be a good bet this year? Well, Dan, Giggs is a consistent performer. He's uh, averaged over 100 points for the past four seasons, as you've said. So um, if you're going to play around with the rest of your team, he's a good constant to have in the midfield if you're going for the 75,000 big prize. Thanks for that, Dave. Now the bit you've all been waiting for. Winner from two years ago, Zoran Furlan, is launching his new radio show, Zoran Fantasy FM. Here he is. Testing, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is Zoran FM broadcasting live from Zagreb. I am here to answer all your questions about fantasy football. Steven Saunders from Norwich has emailed to ask me, do you have any rules when selecting any of your teams? Any things you must or must not do? Uh, yes, Steven, uh, I have many rules when I select my teams and my rules are based on uh, uh, tactics, uh, rules of particular fantasy football game and pool of players uh, which I choose uh, for my teams. Uh, generally, I can say pick the right player at the right time. Martin Doherty from Belfast wants to know, after Michael Owens arrives for United on Sunday, would it be a good idea to put him in my team? Uh, dear Martin, uh, my advice is no, uh, as simply as that, because uh, I think Michael Owens will not uh, be in the starting eleven on uh, Manchester United against Stoke next weekend. And... Uh, Finally, Ryan Scott from Dagenham asks, Hi Zoran, I'm in Zagreb on business next week. Can you recommend the cheap dry cleaners and the best real Croatian restaurant in the city center? Okay, I can easily uh, answer a second question about restaurant. Uh, it is a nocturno, uh, 100 meter from uh, the main square in Zagreb, Trgbana, Jelacica, very good food for a reasonable money and about uh, cheap dry cleaners okay dear Ryan I can't ask for answer this question but I can say you can call uh, general service information in Zagreb 988 for this okay thanks for listening and don't forget to email me your questions at hq at udomanager.co.uk Zdravi veseli bili i do slušanja. Thanks for listening and don't forget to email me your questions at hq at udomanager.co.uk Zdravi i veseli bili i do slušanja. That was great. 
Now, if you're not 100% sure if he knows what he's talking about, let's have a little look at the leaderboard, shall we? Up top, same as last week, Ruben Marquez in Port from Portugal. Sandor Kovac is coming up in second place, very close. And our man with the radio show is in third. In the Football Spy Mini League, Dan Fort is still leading the way, with Terence Stamp fast paced behind him. Now we're going back to Fantasy Dave. Dave, how did your picks do last week? Well, Dan, I'm, uh, I'm quite up with my selections uh, for the monthly picks. Uh, the Villa defence kept another clean sheet against Portsmouth at the weekend, and, uh, and they've got a, uh, another very um, straightforward clean sheet coming up away at Blackburn. Um, so I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm confident about those. And for the Chelsea strikers, well, Didier Drogba's on fire. He's a top-scoring player still, as I predicted, and uh, he should be fit for the, uh, for the Wigan game on Saturday. What transfers would you make this week, Dave? Well, then, my two picks uh, for this weekend are the uh, well. The first one is the Birmingham defence. Uh, they, uh, they they've done well so far. They keep a tight ship. Alex McLeish's men, and uh, they're at home to Bolton, who have struggled four goals. And uh, and I think it should be a, a home victory and a clean sheet at St Andrews. My uh, my second one is the Spurs attack. Now Spurs. Uh, uh, they were they were outclassed uh, last week by Chelsea and the week before by United, but uh, they're playing at home against Burnley this weekend, and uh, Burnley have looked very suspect uh, at the back on their travels, and I expect Spurs strikers to have a field day. Thanks for that, Dave. Now, don't forget, you can post any messages or questions you have on the YouTube channel, or you can email them to hq at youthemanager.co.uk. So I'll see you next time.